Here we are in Stormwind. We are about to brave the prison known as the Stockades. smacking everyone with my uh my man beating tool here i don't think i have enough weapon skill for this though maybe i should have skilled that shit up in advance huh i'm not gonna be able to hold aggro I should put up retribution more. We'll get through one way or the other as long as we don't get too many mobs. Even in prison, they've got their mask on. Definitely needed to put some weapon skill on this maze. It's going up. I've already done all the quests in here. This will actually be my third run of the place. But the first two had a level 70 that was carrying. It was like I wanted... It was like I wasn't gonna bother to record that. Guy was multi-boxing a second account that I think he said was his kids. So he would basically just round up a big ton of mobs, put his consecration down, and everything would die. We're trying to get us a normal round. We don't need to full clear this place, but we will. protection spec and I might not ever be until Outlands because uh, if there's no dungeon groups I may as well be retribution got my seal of command which isn't even worth using right now that is actually not doing more damage than righteousness it's kind of a waste of a point not a hard place except for the fact that all of the mobs like to run away.
backstory for this place is pretty simple. They've been locking up all the scumbags and they lost control of the prison. The prisoners are still trapped in there because it's essentially a cave. There's a bunch of quests for bosses, and there's one for the regular Defias mobs, and then another one for their uh, bandanas. I've already done them all. called your man-beating appliance. It's not a wife-beater. A man just uses his fist. A woman uses a tool. army, so now I get to work fist skill, too. I'm up keeping our mana pretty well. Targor the Dread. Got some fucking swords. Could be doing more if I spam judgment more often. But we're also trying to conserve our mana somewhat so we don't have to constantly stop and drink. See, our allies are working quests. I'm just gonna clear it all. Wipe out the Defias. You've already been to their headquarters because the Dead Mines was a lower level dungeon. Now you're wiping out prisoners. This is a higher level dungeon. You're still fighting the Defias, even though you've wiped out their headquarters. But there's nothing wrong with that, because these people are not at the Dead Mines, they were in the prison. They haven't been dealt with. stats, which I figured that would be useful. That used to just be strength and agility, that's what I remember, but apparently Burning Crusade buffed it to be all stats. Only the strength and agility really matters though. Skills gone up. As a human, when 
whenever I use a sword or mace, I got an expertise bonus. So I won't get dodged or parried as much. Got a space goat priest giving us a hit aura. Chance to hit with spells, 1%. They've actually got two ores, though. Three of the GOAT classes have physical hits. The other three classes have caster hit. And you can actually stack both ores. You can't stack the same one twice, but you can stack one of each. thought about rolling a Draenei for the Paladin. It's like, eh, no, I don't see myself being one of these things. Yeah, human. I'll take my perception, thanks. left side of the prism. Now, perception would probably be the racial I would go for in real life, because it would fix my fucking eyes. But then again, it would only fix them for 20 seconds out of every three minutes, so. But hey, it becomes a passive in Wrath of the Lich King, so. In Classic in Crusade, it's uh, active. It massively increases your stealth detection for a short time. And in Wrath, they turn it into a permanent passive mode. Which doesn't do as much as the active, but it's always up. That's what I need. Because my eyes are bad. I have to wear glasses or contacts. Is a solid race, though, for any melee character. That expertise bonus is gold. Unless you're a rogue that's just gonna use daggers, but rogues in Burning Crusade is all about swords. There aren't hardly any rogues using daggers. 
on here. Not in raids or battlegrounds or arena. Like 99% are running fucking swords. Most went swords in classic as well, but I don't think it was that high. Maybe on the alliance because of the, the uh, skill bonus, but on the horde we don't even have that. So I think more people were going dagger on the horde. people to and then you turn the crank to pull their arms. But you want to know an, e e or an even easier way to do that? Just tie someone's arms behind their back and then hang them up that way by their arms, so their arms are behind them instead of in front of them. That is fucking excruciating. And you don't even need the machine. Give some advice on how to torture. Tell a lot of these sides you don't really need. It's just defias trash mobs. One of the quests is to kill a whole bunch of the regular mobs, though. Like, go here, okay, now go there. Doing laps around fucking Stormwind for these other quests. I want you to go talk to that guy. He's at the library on the other side of the city. Okay, you go, you see, you go all the way over there and talk to that guy. He's like, yeah, okay, here's my response. Now go back. They turn your adventurer into a fucking glorified errand boy. I know that the task that you need to do are not supposed to be uh, all that epic. Like you're fighting bandits and boars and shit outside the city. I mean, you're, you're not the dragon slayer in the starting area. But I don't know why Blizzard wanted to put in some uh, fucking fetch quests. These are things that you would give, like, a teenager in the city to just deliver letters around that that's his day job. You 
wouldn't give that to your warriors whose time is better spent being out there killing the fucking Devias gang that's terrorizing your population. We just killed another boss. So I got the ogre. Or, uh, the, the orc. This was Dextrin Ward. There is an ogre in here, though. Let's go. I'm gonna get them all. Paladin's got free explosives. My rogue and my warrior have to throw bombs all the time. Paladin, just oh, consecration. This is free, it's a free bomb every eight seconds. That's what it is. Maybe I should have read it as a rep, Pally. But hell, I should be reading it as an enhancement shaman. Enhancement, enhancement shamans are crazy in this game. just had one leave the guild the other day too. They're like our only enhancement shaman. That was one of our best damage. He left. We did have six shamans in a uh, 25 man. But he was the only one that was enhanced. He was one of our best damage. onto the other wing. Doesn't matter which side you do first. Get my holy bubble from the priest. That is not good on warriors and bears because you don't get rage from incoming damage if it's hitting a shield. The magic kind, not the physical shield. Paladin doesn't have rage. I don't care if I'm bubbled or not. I can say, though, that that bubble is not mana efficient. It's a much better use of your mana just to cast heals. The upside on it, though, is that it's instant. Click the button, and you instantly put the bubble on someone that'll absorb damage so that they don't die. And then hopefully live long enough for some kind of cooldown or another heal. It can also be used in shadow form. Shadow Priest can't cast any of the holy spells. That's discipline. level 31. That guy is far over my level. Honestly, he could have tanked this place with his Voidwalker. The problem is the pet would keep running out of mana. Walker desperately needs a blessing of wisdom or mana rigid total. But as much as I may suffer from the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence syndrome, I am going to be sticking with my rogue for reading. 
other classes, I just play for fun. This is some other quest that I've got in Stormwind. It doesn't have anything to do with the stockade. It just wanted silk. I can get the war leaves. That'll be fucking awesome. Look who it is, Cam Deep Fury. Got a dwarf up in here. Actually, have not done the quest for him yet because for some reason they put it after a quest in the wetlands that wants you to kill like mobs that are level fucking thirty. Why is a level 30 quest coming before the dungeon that's level 25? So probably no one does that. By the time you can get that quest, you probably don't want to come back in here. They should have changed that to just give you the damn quest and have that other one be on its own. Okay, everyone. You get blessing of might. Give the void walker a uh, wisdom. I got the M too. Ms are annoying to buff because when they're in that phase shift shit can't target them with any spells. So you'd have to buff him while he's casting Fireball, because that's the only time he's not shifted. Got some water too, but these potions need to get used. Things are level 14. Got my alchemy up to 155. Spent a little bit of gold on it, buying a uh, black mouth oil and. Not the oil, but the fish to make the oil, and the sappers to make the other oil. So I get some skill build off of the oils, and then whatever I make with that. Because I am not going to bother working fishing on this guy. You'd have to fish to get those things. It's locked. There's the ogre. Did someone open that? I think those came from the chest. Someone must have used either a, a blacksmith key or an engineering bomb. You can only use those if you have the profession. these guys. Yep. Take some damage on this one. He's down. It's 
Tamhawk. Man, tanking is easy as a pallet. Instead of constantly spamming uh, Devastate or Sunder, it's just, just Judgment and Seal every now and then. Or Consecration. And I don't even fucking have the Holy Shield. If I had Holy Shield, that would be nuts. Blessing a Sanctuary. Although you might still be better off with the Wisdom because you need mana. But Holy Shield, you put a buff up, it increases your chance to block. And every time you block, it does Holy Damage with additional threat. But it's got limited charges as well. That was already in classic, but now it's even better. Because it's got improved holy shield, which was not in classic. Increases the damage and charges. Avenger shield. over that void walker. As long as it, they're not hitting anyone else. Not always using it though, he's keeping it on standby. I love that guild name, Victoria's Secret. <laughs> There's so many good uh, good guild names on our uh, on our rim. Over on the here, oh, I mean on the horde side, we've got uh, mistakes were made. I wish I was in that guild because of its name. That's the fucking best. The Alliance has another one called uh, There and Back Again. Which I always liked. Yeah. I'm trying to think of some others. My serious business bureau. Which, if you heard the voice chat in the raids, is anything but serious business. It's actually often annoying. Basil Thread. Not immune to stunt. I think that's it. We have another torture device here. I don't know what these are called. Which obviously would kill you, but depending on how you have it, it might not. I think those are meant to either kill you with uh, spikes, or to just be very scary, because you're trapped in a very tight, basically a coffin. Bonds already. Uh, 
guess we kill him. We could just run out, but a few extra mobs isn't gonna hurt us in a just fast, short dungeon. This is not a very exciting dungeon, though, is it? I think the horde has definitely got the alliance beat on this one. Rage fire chasm's got demons in it. But the dead mines is hands down looking better than wailing caverns in every way. Unless you want a bow. There's a few exceptions to the items because the items are different. But everything else, definitely. So that's it.